Good afternoon. Muy buenas tardes. Chi au wuhau. Dobre viachu. On behalf of the staff of Curie High School, it is my privilege to welcome you to our 2020 graduation ceremony. Graduates, while your final semester has been full of major historical events, today marks a significant event in your life. 13 years of education have led you to today. 13 years of homework and projects, recitals and essays, waking up early and hurrying through the hallways or hurrying to get on your Google Meets class. Take a moment to reflect on that. Remember all of the teachers who believed in you along the way, all those moments when your friends and family made sure you didn't give up. All of the things that you have accomplished that you thought you never would. Take a moment to be proud of your history, of your story. We at Curie are proud of you. And I know there are many watching with you in your homes right now who are also proud of you. En este momento, quiero darles gracias a todos sus admiradores, sus maestros, sus padres, sus abuelos, sus hermanos, sus primos, sus tíos, a todos sus mentores y sus queridos. To the parents, family, teachers, and mentors in the audience today, we appreciate you and all you've done to ensure these talented young people made it to this moment. It's not over class of 2020. Graduation is not an end point, but rather a turning point. This moment opens new doors for you and you set your sights on new goals now. Today, you are the best version that you have developed over the past 13 years. You get to use your skills and preparation now to do bigger and better things. Ralph Waldo Emerson said it best when he said, life is a journey, not a destination. I want to acknowledge how challenging and unique your journey of your senior year has been. It is not the senior year that you or I or your family or teachers would have imagined for you. But I am sure that ultimately you all will be stronger, more resilient, more empathetic, and more self-aware because of what you've experienced during your senior year. And I hope you all see that the world needs new leaders, new ideas, and new ways of doing things. And I hope you can also see that you will be uniquely positioned and prepared to bring about those changes that we need. We believe in you and your power, class of 2020. After today, you will be part of one of the biggest and most successful alumni networks in Chicago Public Schools. It is because of you and your hard work that we have the best IV program in Chicago, the best arts program, the best JROTC program, the best AVID program, and the best CTE program. I have no doubt that you will continue making the best of all you encounter on your journey. Congratulations. Hello everyone. I hope you're all well and safe. My name is Priscilla Gonzalez and I'm the celebratorian for the class of 2020. I want to start off the speech with a quote I hold on to dearly by Mary Shelley. Nothing is so painful to the human mind as a great and sudden change. I think we can all agree that the year 2020 has been all about change. For us, we are transitioning into a new stage of our lives where a lot is going to change. Our senior year has been one of the hardest, and I know many teachers and students can agree. We started off the school year with a strike, which we feared, because we did not know when it would end or how it would end. The first few days of the strike turned into a week, and then into a month, until we were finally able to return to school. Then, 2020 rolled by, and we were hit with a pandemic which made us question the future. We asked ourselves, when will we return to school? How are we going to take our finals? Are we even going to graduate? And what will happen next? A lot of those questions were answered, but many were not. At least now we know that if you're watching this video, we are graduating, but not in the traditional way in which we would cross, walk across the stage shake some hands, and get a diploma. 
but we are graduating in a virtual way, which many people have been working hard on to make possible. Like I mentioned, not all of her questions were answered. What will happen next? I don't know. And I don't think anyone does. No one expected for any of this to be happening, but that is the beauty of life. We will never be sure of what will happen next, and it is really important to understand this because we will all be taking different paths after high school, which we don't know where we'll lead. But I know that each and every one of us is going to make the best of it, and we are going to work hard to do something amazing. Because we got through the many challenges the school year faced before us. We had to get accustomed to virtual learning, and we had to completely change this routine we were all so familiar with, which was waking up and going to school. This all proves that we are strong, and we are able to get through the difficult challenges. Speaking of difficult challenges, high school is definitely one of them. I remember my freshman year in Coach Riley's class. He was talking about the stress we would experience as we got older. I remember him saying, make sure to write down all your homework in an agenda because being able to check off all the homework you complete is going to be one of the best feelings in the world. When he said that, some of us might have thought, what is he talking about? How is crossing out a homework assignment we just completed going to make us feel any better? It is such a small action that seems really insignificant. However, once I reached sophomore and then junior and then senior year, I began to understand what he meant. High school, at many points, got really stressful for me, and I know it got stressful for all of you too. We all had this mindset where we wanted to balance sleep, schoolwork, and our social lives. Yet it all seemed impossible to do, because it seemed that time was against us. And this is why I always think back to what Coach Riley said. The small and simple action of being able to cross out the homework or task we just completed felt like we were slowly lifting way off of our shoulders. Seeing every small step and action as an accomplishment really helps us get through tough times because it is good to celebrate the small things. In many years into the future, we are going to look back and completing high school might seem like something small we did. However, we need to see this as a huge accomplishment because we got through it despite the many challenges. We need to celebrate the special day and cherish these moments that each and every one of us deserves. I wanted to take this time to say thank you to the many people who were involved in allowing us to be here today. I want to say thank you to my parents and my sister for always being there for me and supporting me every step of the way, even when I just wanted to be alone and cry my eyes out. I want to say thank you for the school staff for having put up with all of us. I know we could have given you a hard time sometimes, but you still make the school a better place. I want to thank all of the teachers for also putting up with us because it's not easy to teach calculus or to teach how to read between the lines to a bunch of teenagers. I want to say thank you to Dr. Tingwo for being an amazing principal and doing so much for us. One of the hardest parts for me for, of school <laughs> was having to wake up at six in the morning to get ready, go to school, and then wait in the longest line to get to the metal detectors while at the same time fearing that I would be late because of how long the line was, even though I got there early. And then I still had to get to the crowded hallways to get to my locker. But even though I dreaded this part of the day so much, being able to walk into school and receiving a warm good morning condors from Dr. Tingwo made our day a hundred times better. I also want to give a special thanks to the IB coordinator, Ms. Barnes, for everything. I don't think I will ever have enough words to, to describe how thankful I am for Ms. Barnes. We would have been completely lost. We wouldn't have been introduced to so many different opportunities. And high school would have seemed and been a lot harder than it already was if it weren't for Ms. Barnes. So Ms. Barnes, I am so grateful for all you have done for my classmate tonight. So thank you. Finally, I wanted to say thank you to the class of 2020. We made amazing memories and I know we would have made so many more if we were still in school. We met some of the most incredible people that taught us so much, which I am very thankful for. Regardless, I know there were tough times. There were good and there were bad days. And there were times where we just wished for high school to be over. However, now that it actually is over, we realize that we never actually meant it. Yes, high school is stressful. And there were days where we would wake up, stare at the ceiling, and think, I don't feel like going today. 
But that's beside the point. Besides the point. What I'm trying to get at is that we gained so much from high school. Not only with what we learned in class, but also what we learned from the people and from being there in general. I wanted to say how thankful I am for all of you and how proud we should be of this accomplishment. I know we are experiencing a lot of change in the world and transitioning from high school to the path we have chosen to make for ourselves requires a lot of change. I just want to remind you that although like the quote I read in the beginning, nothing is so painful to the human mind as a great and sudden change, it does not necessarily mean that change is bad because the change we are about to experience of transitioning out of high school should be seen as an accomplishment that we are all really proud of. So having said that, I wanted to end by finally saying, congratulations class of 2020, we made it. Thank you. Hello Curie class of 2020. I join everyone to give you a well-deserving shout out. I borrow the words of Marie Curie in one of her quotes which says, we must believe that we are gifted for something and that this thing must be attained. You have laid the foundation to attain your gifts. I also like to borrow the words of Julius Caesar, which says, I came, I saw, I conquered. You all came to Curie four years ago. You saw all the opportunities out there for you and you set out to conquer. Today, we are so proud of you and send you out into the world to continue to conquer. Congratulations, class of 2020. We are so proud of you. Thank you so much. Congratulations, class of 2020. This has definitely been a year that none of us expected. Yet here we are, celebrating your graduation, helping prove once again that you, like our communities, are resilient and continue to thrive despite adversity. I wish you all the best of luck as you continue to change the world for the better, for you and for others. Hello, everybody. For those who don't know me, my name is Oscar Rivas, your class of 2020 valedictorian. Congratulations to everybody present on this very special and unusual graduation ceremony. At the beginning of our senior year, I'm sure that no one had the slightest clue that our graduation ceremony would take place virtually. However, instead of being bummed out about not having the customary celebrations that everybody has, let's make it a cheerful and a once in a lifetime occasion. Every single one of you deserves to be celebrated for this great achievement. After all, the class of 2020 is going to be the graduation class that everybody is going to remember. You know why? Because we are the first graduating class to graduate virtually. Who knows, maybe virtual graduations will become a thing in the future and who are they going to turn to for inspiration? Us. I would like to start off by thanking my friends, my teammates, my coaches, and my teachers for providing me with much needed guidance throughout high school. Coming into high school as a freshman, I had no idea what to expect. And honestly, I wasn't expecting to create bonds with so many of you. Yet, that's what ended up happening. Now we'll forever be grateful for that. From all the laughs I shared to the stress I suffered to the many suicides I had to run during practice, those are memories that will stick with me everywhere I go. The past four years have been made great by each one of you that I ever interacted with, so thank you so much for that. I'll continue by giving a special thanks to someone who has become very important to me these last four years. She has done so much to ensure that all, all of her students are on the path to become great. She has gone out of her way to, fi to find me a countless numbers of opportunities that I benefited from, from Northwestern Academy to the ACT prep program to the DePaul College Connect program. This is the reason why she was chosen to lead the best IB program in the city of Chicago. Ms. Barnes, thank you for everything you did for my classmates, classmates and I these past four years. I also want to give a special shout out to the two most hardworking people I have ever known, my mom and my dad. Their goal has always been to make sure that my brother and I are capable of having the best futures we can possibly have. And so far, they're doing an amazing job to, in making sure that that is the case. Never have I ever heard either of them complain about having to go to work or say that they're going to take a day off. When I say that they are the most hardworking people ever, I literally mean it. They do anything that is in their hands to ensure that my brother and I have everything that we need. But the best thing about them is the words of encouragement that they always provide for me. 
Not once have there been an instance where they have not supported my ambitions. In fact, it's their persuasion that pushes me to try and be great. All those late night talks I've had with them about the struggles I must go through to be successful, I will always cherish. They are the reason why I continue to strive for greatness. I want them to realize one day that they have accomplished the goal of raising a successful son. Mom and dad, I'll never tell you, I never tell you enough how much I love you, so I'm going to do it now. I love you and I continue to try and make you proud. Now I'm going to shift into a different direction. Getting through high school wasn't the easiest of things to do, and I'm positive that many of you feel the same way. There were days where I slept eight to nine hours, while other days I went to school having slept an hour, or as I should say, having napped an hour. Some days were better than others, but the fact that we got through those rough days is the reason why we're in this ceremony right now. I'm sure that many of you had those moments where you would look at your math homework and you would say, screw math. Why do we even need math after high school? This is so useless. I lost count on how many times I said that not only to myself, but out loud as well. Yeah, that math homework still got done. Huh, the irony in that. But it was moments like those that summarized our high school experience. Sometimes we were willing to take that extra step to make sure that what needed to be done got done. That should give you a reason to be proud of yourself. You shouldn't only be proud of once you accomplish your goal, you should be proud of every step that you take towards accomplishing that goal. Every single one of you took that step to make sure that you graduated high school, so be extremely proud of yourself. As you congratulate yourself for having made it through high school, now it's time to start thinking about life beyond high school. Now this is where all the fun begins. From the bills, to the grocery shopping, to having to wake up early for work, you better get ready for it. Nah, I'm just kidding. You can relax for a bit. I hope I didn't scare you, because it's not as bad as it seems. All of you are taking a different path, and that's perfectly fine, because every single one of you is supposed to be writing your own story. Choose a dream to pursue and become determined to make it a reality. You will only go as far as you push. It's obvious that there will be obstacles throughout the course of your life, but it's those obstacles that make us who we are. In order to be great, you had to fail multiple times. However, the joy you feel when you've overcome the obstacle is indescribable. Like the legendary Lightning McQueen once said, float like a Cadillac, sting like a Beamer. Only you have control over what happens in your life, so make sure that you use that courage and determination to leave a positive impact on this world and the people surrounding you. Before I conclude this speech, if you're ever feeling as if you're not making any progress or making little progress with what you want to accomplish, just remember that in order to enjoy success, failure must be endured. It is only a temporary detour, not a dead end. The city of Rome wasn't built in a day. As time passed, results started showing. It's okay not to see results right away, but as long as you're working hard towards your goal, your time will come. Or as the great president, Abraham Lincoln, once said, the best thing about the future is that it comes one day at a time. Thank you to all of you for listening to my speech. And I hope you all enjoyed it. It was a pleasure being a counselor for four years. And I'm sure all of you have something special in place for the future. With that being said, once again, congratulations, class of 2020, and let's go Condors. Class of 2020, finally graduation day is here. I'm so proud of you. Your efforts to accomplish this goal were not in vain. Now I realize that some of you will go off to college in the fall or become certified in a trade, maybe join the workforce or even serve in the military. Please know whatever you decide, I am proud of your decision to be a responsible citizen in our society. Your hard work and efforts to rise above negative stereotypes and unforeseen obstacles brought you this far. The resilience and grit that you have demonstrated over the past four years has strengthened you and will carry you farther than you can imagine. I encourage you to fight against injustice and any other negative influence that tries to stifle your light. I hope you will reflect on your life experiences and decide to be a part of the solutions to the problems you may have experienced, seen, or that may come. 
I look forward to hearing about your post-secondary adventures and accomplishments. I mean, this year alone, you've proven that you are an academic achiever, a pandemic survivor, and a social injustice overcomer. Never stop trying, never stop learning, never miss your opportunity to exercise your right to vote. I wish you all the best that life can offer. I pray for your ongoing safety. And last but not least, thank you for the memories, class of 2020. Congratulations, class of 2020. There's a saying that the comeback is greater than the setback. And all of you have been through a whole lot this year to get to where you're at today. And I'm proud of how hard all of you worked and how determined all of you are to get to where you're at. So keep up the good work, and I can't wait to see the wonderful things that you go on to do when you leave this building. Go Condors! Hi, Curie Condors. For those of you that don't know me, I'm Miss Brake, a career technical education teacher at Curie High School. I had the pleasure of walking through the doors of Curie back in 2006. As a new teacher, I was super excited to teach the students of Curie. What I didn't realize was how much the students of Curie were going to teach me each and every single year. So to start, thank you, class of 2020. Thank you for being respectful, open-minded, kind, hardworking, determined, responsible, and most of all, resilient these past four years. You have truly shown us what it takes to be a condor. When asked to address Curie's graduating class of 2020, I thought to myself, what can I possibly say to these graduates during this trying time? Quickly, I realized more than ever, I needed to find strong words for the strongest class I know. I know this is not the graduation that you dreamed of, nor the graduation that you deserve, but it's your graduation. And that speaks volumes about you and your commitment to your education. This past school year makes each and every one of you unforgettable. Class of 2020 is the class that refused to be defined by a global pandemic, changing your normal life overnight and causing everything you worked for to be taken away quickly. Some of you may be feeling sad, angry, cheated, scared, upset, or maybe even hopeful. Please know your feelings are valid, but do not let those feelings define your graduation or your future because you are worth so much more. I encourage all of you, rather than worrying about the uncontrollable, let's use this time to reflect on the struggles you overcame. Share the memories that you made, reach out to those friends that you met, spread the knowledge that you gained, and celebrate how you have grown as a person. Throughout your four years, you set goals, you revised goals, you crushed goals to make it to today, graduation day. This year, many of you learned that no matter how much you plan your path, you cannot always predict the turns it may take, but in the end, the result is the same as long as you push through and never give up. We are super proud of your accomplishments. We at Curie believe in you and your hard work. You are our future, and we trust that you will continue to be the change we need and work hard together to ensure all of us a brighter future. Today I ask that before you leave us, promise to never stop learning. Learning is a lifelong commitment and this is just the beginning. Class of 2020, please continue to dream big, continue to stay focused, and do not stop believing in yourself because you are strong and you are unstoppable. From all of us at Curie High School, congratulations and good luck as you begin your next chapter. Thank you for allowing us to be a part of your story. Put those hats on and celebrate because this is a huge accomplishment. Jaylene Brooks. Gabriela Cesare Sacedo. Jose Cuevas Martinez, Kimberly D. Santiago, Giovanni Delgado, Diana Escutia, Anthony Gill, Myra Godinez. Yareni Gomez, Andreas Hernandez, 
Alan Mee, London Miles, Noble Pickens, Adrian Romero, Nitzia Ruiz Algadi. Jaden Vargas and Armand Williams. Hi, Curie High School, class of 2020. It's Nacelle. I just wanted to recognize you, congratulate you, and celebrate you all on your graduation. I also want to congratulate those that support you, your parents, your grandparents, other family members, and of course, your many friends. Without them, you wouldn't be who you are today. You, the class of 2020, are definitely memorable, and I am so happy that I got to know so many of you. I wish you all the best of luck, and congratulations on your graduation. We are proud of you. Yes, we are proud of you. Yes! Congratulations, class of 2020. You had a responsibility to yourself to get an education, and you did exactly that. Now, all of you are good at something. All of you will accomplish something absolutely amazing. And you need to go out there and ignite a flame and let it shine so bright that you inspire everyone and they can't take their eyes off of you. Congratulations. Hey, class of 2020, this is Mr. Johnson. Um, have a great graduation. Congrats. You did it. You survived. Um, go be condors. I hope you guys grow feathers, a big beak, uh, eat stuff off the road, and scream at your enemies. Maybe grow some claws, too, um, and learn to soar. Uh, you got a bright future ahead of you. Lisbeth Aguilera Avilos. Roosevelt Burrell. Alan Cruz. Isaiah Dela Cruz. Orlando De Jesus. Miguel Gonzalez. Ramian Hinton. Azaria Jones. Renata Mascot Flores. Austin Moulton. Ariana Quintana. Emily Ramirez Casillas. Edwin Rodriguez. Shakira Space. Ashley Valles Galicia. Victor Villanueva. Hello to all my seniors and my juniors from last year. Congratulations on your graduation, and I'm really proud of you for making it over this last really big hurdle. I'm sorry I can't be there to say goodbye to you in person, but I want to leave you with this inspirational quote. Be bold, and mighty forces will come to your aid. Hello, class of 2020. Just wanted to say congratulations. Uh, we're so very proud of you. Uh, this year has been not exactly what you wanted, but you're making history just graduating. You'll forever be remembered, and uh, we're so excited to support you and see how else you will make history going forward. Never stop learning, never stop bettering yourselves, and uh, we're so happy for you. Congratulations. The fabulous Curie Math Department would like to say... Congratulations. 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 Felicidades. Congratulations. 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 
Congratulations, class of 2020. Yay! Yay. Yay. Aaron Bell. Jaleel Borders. Justin Boynes. Isaiah Castro. Jenny Delgado. Jose Gonzalez. Stephanie Gonzalez. Kishana Little. Jasmine Mendoza. Jessica Morales. Brian Moreno. Amanda Nieto. Desiree Ransbury. Jocelyn Razzo. Gabriela Valles. Congratulations, class of 2020. You are to be commended and applauded for exercising such resilience, patience, adaptability, and responsibility during these unprecedented times. You have run the race and stayed the course. I wish you all the best in crossing over to your next level of success. To the Curie graduates, a wish for you. May the tide that is entering even now, the lip of our understanding, carry you out beyond the face of fear. May you kiss the wind, then turn from it, certain that it will love your back. May you open your eyes to water, water waving forever. And may you in your innocence sail through this to that. Class of 2020, congratulations from Ms. Spockman. Hello, Curie graduates. It is so not how, eh. This isn't how I expect to be saying, hmm. This is not how I expected to be saying congratulations to you as you graduate. But I couldn't let this pass by without saying something. You have been one of the most remarkable groups of kids that we've had in a long time and you have had to deal with a lot this year and you have risen to the occasion you have done everything we've asked of you and now you have earned the right to call yourselves graduates that is amazing and i am so proud of all of you and i wish that i could say congratulations in person but i'm hoping that there will be time to do that in the future so congratulations to you, good luck. I wish you all the best in the world as you move out of Curie and do whatever you have planned to do. Bye-bye. Maya Cano. Nitzia Flores. Ashley Gallegos Abel Gomez Brenda Gamino Martinez Jacob Johnson Joshua Navarrete Alan Palos Desiree Reed Eric Reed Jamie Reyes Morales Giovanni Secondino Class of 2020, athletics consists of competitions that prepare us mentally for overcoming life's challenges. We learn to compete with grace but to never be okay with losing. Losing pushes us to work harder. Until we gain new skills, 
We utilize the strengths we already have to help our team achieve the goal of winning the competition. We have to overcome division among our teammates, the strength of our opponents, as well as the doubt in our own minds about our potential to win. These parallels have never been more evident for any other graduating class than yours, the class of 2020. You are Chicago strong and Condor strong. You got this. Congratulations, class of 2020. I'm proud of you all. It wasn't the graduation you wanted or deserved, but you will never forget your senior year. Good job, guys. Hello, seniors. Ms. Torres here. I'm here to offer you a bit of advice. Number one, remember you are our future. So find your voice and use it. Be the change you want to see in your community, in society. Number two, remember that during crisis comes building of character. So with everything you do, do it with courage and resilience. And finally, always stay true to yourself and follow your heart. Best of luck. Jermaine Brown. Nicholas Cardoza. Luis Cervantes. Demetrio De Luna. Esther Hernandez. Martin Hernandez. Lorenza Jacobo. Rhea Jones. Erica Marmolejo. Leonardo Martinez Rosas. Natalie Medina. Jennifer Medrano. Marilyn Resendez. Jasmine Reyes. Alonso Rodriguez. Joshua Rodriguez. Taina Santos. Jillian Sonheim. Daniel Soria. Class of 2020 seniors, hi, this is Miss Kadir. I have been teacher to many of you. I taught you as ninth graders, I taught you as juniors, and I taught you again this year as seniors. I've also gotten to know many of you through my work as yearbook advisor. I've seen all your accomplishments and interests and talents in the pages of the yearbook. I've seen you take your beautiful pictures. I have emailed many of you, even though we don't know each other. And I just want to say all of you hold a very special place in my heart. The class of 2020 is going to be one that I always remember. I'm so sorry that you guys don't get to walk across the stage. You deserve all the pomp and circumstance that goes with graduation. I know many of you are also coping with illness and unemployment caused by this pandemic, and nobody deserves that. I wanna say I'm really sorry, my heart is with you. I also know that you all are so creative and so talented and so capable of making this world a better place than what it is now. Your Curie family will always be here for you. And I just want to say congratulations, graduates. I look forward to hearing about your future accomplishments. Hey, everyone. Congratulations. This is such an important day. Um, as a school, we are very proud of you, especially considering the challenges that you have faced over these past few months. You know, Martin Luther King once said that the ultimate test is not where you stand in moments of comfort or moments of convenience, but in moments of challenge. And so you have proven yourself there. And as you move from high school at Curie into the next phase of your journey, do not 
let any challenge deny you of what it is that you are striving for or what it is that you believe in because there are more challenges to come undoubtedly uh, but don't fear them embrace them and in doing so you will embrace everything that life has to offer again congratulations Hey class of 2020, just wanted to say hello and wish you guys all the best. I'm sorry that your senior year did not turn out as any of us anticipated. Uh, I knew most of you as sophomores and we had some good times in class and we had some pretty cool field trips along the way. Just um, some general advice in two seconds or less. Please continue to be strong, be safe, be wise, be resilient and I wish you all the best. Adriana Cruz Lupercio. Fernanda Flores. Rosa Garcia. Giovanni Gonzalez. Daniel Gutierrez. Sarah Guzman Lopez, Raheem Hinton, Joshua Macio, Diego Maya Tovar, Marvin McCaskill, Sitlali Nunez Perez. Damarian O'Neill, Jocelyn Ochoa, Dylan Ortiz, Naomi Ortiz, Eduardo Salgado. Hi, class of 2020, this is Ms. Haberney. I just wanted to tell you that today is your day and it's time to celebrate. I am so proud of you. You made it. I know that all your unique talents and hard work will help you succeed in the next chapter of your life. Congratulations. You did it. And remember, Curie is your home and you're a condor for life. Good afternoon, Curie graduating class of 2020. My name is Gunnery Sergeant Small. I am the Marine Instructor in the JRTC department. I would like to wish each and every one of you a hearty congratulations on your most recent accomplishment of graduating from Curie Metro High School. Who would have thought that on September 3rd, 2019, that we would be doing a virtual graduation today? But again, I am so proud of everything that you have overcome this school year to be in this moment. Curie has prepared you to be a difference maker. So go out into the world and leave your mark. Again, congratulations, class of 2020. Go Condors. Congratulations, seniors. There's not a quiet room in my house, so you find me in my car. This year could well be the reason that 2020 is Curie's most memorable class. Because whether in the classroom or online, you proved yourself as not just intelligent, hardworking and talented, but kind, caring and decent. The world could only be a better place with you helping to shape it. So work hard play hard, and do some good. You deserve a future that is rewarding, successful, and above all, happy. All the very best. Alexandro Alonzo. Claudia Barajas. Senue Carrasco Perez. Isaac Esparza Jacqueline Fulgencio Pamela Garcia Anixa Hernandez Villalobos Demarius Johns Kevin Navarrete Angel Ortiz Jr. Fatima Villagrana. 
Congratulations, class of 2020, you made it. I'm super proud of all of you, especially my students that I've had either this year or in the past. Well done. Take a minute, think about your accomplishments, and also think about the people that helped you along your journey. Friends, family, teachers. No matter what happens in the future, just know that what you've done is a major accomplishment and it can never be taken away from you. Congratulations. Take care of yourself and each other. Curie Condors, you did it. Yes, I know I need a, need a haircut. But enough about me, let's talk about you, all right? Congratulations. Go out there and do great things. Remember, this is not the end, this is the beginning. So get out there, make this money, and that's on period, with a T. Congratulations, good job. Class of 2020, congratulations. We are so, so incredibly proud of you. As you go into this next chapter in your life, I wanna remind you that there were times in these four years where you literally had no idea what the heck was going on and how you were ever gonna find this day. And you did. And so remember that, okay? There's gonna be times in the future where you feel like, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. You can do this. You have a purpose and you have the ability within you as long as you fight hard enough. Advocate for yourselves. Find the people that can help you. And if you can't, you come back to Kiri and you find the adults that you knew that you could trust and you ask them, hey, I need some help. We will always be here for you. We love you. We are proud of you. Congratulations. Juanita Aceves. Alicia Agnew. Ruby Andrade Gamino. Rije Ballard. Demarcus Bryant. Tanya Cineceros. Juan Chavez. Stephen Cheek. Ricardo Contreras. Valentin Guajardo. Anthony Lau Elizabeth Marquez Charles Martinez Timothy McCampbell Jose Pulido Giovanni Ramirez Devion Rogers, Brian Saldivar. Congratulations, class of 2020. You made it, and I'm proud of you. With all the craziness in the world, you did an excellent job, and I'm proud of you. Miss Cosiana here. Class of 2020, congratulations. It's been such a pleasure to get to know you over the last four years. We hate to see you go, and we certainly hate to see you go under these circumstances. We wish we could do so much more for you, but we are so proud of you. You're about to embark on a new adventure. There are opportunities and challenges before you. Embrace them. Make this world a better place. I cannot wait to see what you accomplish. So thank you and good luck to you. Bye. Hi everyone, this is Miss Wilson, and I would personally like to congratulate all the graduates of 2020. I know how proud your family and friends must be of all your achievements. Congratulations. The Dance Department of Curie's mission has always been to create art that empowers people to change the world for the better. We draw strength from our diversity and strive to create artists who make a difference. As artists, you're going to be in the forefront of helping us to reinvent communities and to create a more thoughtful world. The world needs you. Thank you from one artist to another.
Adan Arias, Jamari Valentine, Jaden Boyd, Joshua Brown, Keith Cartagena, Evelyn E. Scott. David Lara, Natalie Magana, Dakari Randall, Brittany Reyes, Carlo Rocha Ramos, Eileen Ruiz Gonzalez. Malik Shields, James Williams. Okay, class of 2020, this is it. Make sure your tassel's on the right. We're gonna do this together. Graduates of the class of 2020, please rise. You may move your tassel from the right to the left. By the power vested in me, by the Illinois State Board of Education and Chicago Public Schools. I declare you now graduates of Curie High School. Congratulations.